Yes, yes, no! Come back! <laughs> Welcome back to Mazan 3, where we are trying to kill everybody, still haven't killed any one of the main characters, but we're really early on. We're now diving into the wreck, where maybe we can get crushed by wreck things, perhaps we can drown, perhaps we can, I don't know, get eaten by sharks. More or less? I, well, I don't think anyone can die this early, but we're gonna try. Ooh, sharks! That's pretty ominous. Maybe we can die. <laughs> I've made Alex hate Fliss so much. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. Or have I? I don't know. I'm not sure how much this game cares about that kind of stuff. A B-17 bomber! It's pretty intact too. <clears throat> This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. <laughs> and make these two hate each other? Howdy, Captain. I feel like I can make Fliss hate everybody. Your second in command. You are not my second in command. Third Ooh, command. already hate. Cool. <laughs> Still a no. Mm, stop your saying words. Dashingly handsome, seafaring client. Stop. It's requesting the pleasure of your stop. company for a frosty amber liquid. Ah, uh, stop. Just stare him down. Just stare him down. Okay. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> That's shutting it down fast. Here. Jeez. Where'd you get the cash? Mm. Don't ask a lady about her money. You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Headbutt him. Just bam! Right I'm in the just face. just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. Uh, sorry, I got this. There was a really loud, weird, vibrating noise in my room. It's kind of weird. Uh, just stare him down, though. Just keep staring him down. <laughs> uh, you know what? I better spend some time. So I can't. I don't know how to handle your awkwardness and your social interactions. So I'm just gonna go beep boop on my computer over here. I need to turn it back on because that dude turned it off, and I need it. I need it to boat things. Okay, can I, uh, further yeah. awkwardly interact with him? <laughs> you can monitor the dive? You can... Sure, be stern. You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. That, that wasn't stern. That was so, like, could you please do this? Stare him down. Give him the wild eyes! <laughs> okay, whatever. Ooh, scornful, yes. Rich kids can just up and take a vacation whenever they goddamn please, I guess. I love it. I can make Fliss so just hate everybody. She has a clearly fake ID. I forgot about that. Check it out. Oh. Oh. It's only one person on the ship, isn't there? Oh, I guess there's that other guy. He's down here, right? Can I be a jerk to this guy? Hi. He's so nice. Hey. You okay? Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives. Are they gonna let me be mean to him? What do you know? <laughs> what do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. Got to be more I'm tired of the speculation. Inquisitive. See if there was more aggressive. There. What do you know about this wreck? Mm, just stare him down. Just give him the wild eyes. They're really turned on by the thrill of finding a wreck. Mm. Huh. Got to get back up top. Check you later. That's an interrogation tactic. You ask someone a question and they answer and you just don't say anything and the awkwardness makes them keep talking. Can I... Oof, oof, please, please, please with the door. Is this important? I don't feel like this is killing anybody. Can I beat someone in the head with a bottle of perfume? Because if not, then this is, this is waste time. Alright, let's see if I can continue the story with binoculars. Yes! Must be binoculars. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think this does anything. Can I talk to him again? Howdy, Captain. How's the sea? Big and blue. And how's the sky? Got him. Brighter than you. Boom. Got him. <laughs> uh huh. That's it. Do I have to look at the the stupid pad thing? Weather looks clear. Surely I don't have to turn this back off. Oh. Hmm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. I'm no weatherman, but that looks like a hurricane. In the bottom left there. Should we be concerned about that? Oh. Uh oh. It's 
getting mighty crowded out here. <laughs> There's one dot. <laughs> These shiny things are confusing when they float in the air like that. There we go. Okay. We had to look at the thing first. What's that about? Mmm, say nothing. <laughs> They're like coming right over to us. How should we handle this? <laughs> say nothing. <laughs> yes! No, I wanted him to react and be like, okay, guess I'll die. <laughs> Just stare him down. Let him do their thing. I don't understand. Okay, so... Another spoiler. I already said spoiler alert at the beginning. I'm gonna stop saying spoiler alert. I'm gonna give away a lot of stuff for this game. Those are pirates. What were they... What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? I don't even have to make a choice. This guy's a dick here. But what were they planning? Like, oh, they'll believe us that we accidentally crashed well, shoot, into their you, you boat? More like 30, I, can do 30. I don't understand that right, interaction there. Have a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. <laughs> I love his thing at the end. Through the money, he's like, oh yeah. That scares people. If you got pirates coming at you, just do this. I'll back right the F off. Okay, now we're underwater. A definitively, distinctly more dangerous place to be where you could die. That's just the facts. That guy's already dead. Don't care about him. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. The turret. We can get in through there. Well, I mean, there was like 20 openings in the front where the windows were. Hmm. Oh, was that a quick time event? My bad. Now the shark's gonna eat us, right? That's what that means. Shark's gonna eat us. Uh, ladies first. Wonder how many people? Whoa, laggy. Wonder how many people got hit by that thing, like who that weren't that trying, thing. because they really spring it on you. Alex, we did it. You haven't done I mean, any kind of quick time events in like an hour at that it's point. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not what is that? Go, go, no, not the painting. Like, what is this? Is that like don't make the decision which causes you to have a heart attack? Like, don't choose heart attack over not heart attack when that decision arrives. What does that mean? Okay, let's just keep going on in. Oh, what's that? No, go back. Backies. <sighs> Moving in two dimensions this game was hard enough. <clears throat> Ooh. That looks like a Julie, death hole if I've ever seen one. You have to take your gear off to get in there. Exactly. <laughs> that pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Exactly. <laughs> Live a little! Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord. Edgelord. Dude. That seems like such a wildly dangerous thing to do. Like, insanely. The one, like, rule, I feel like, of scuba is always leave the scuba mask on. I can't think of a worse thing to do underwater while scuba diving than to, oops, than to not scuba. <laughs> Just keep... This is great. I don't have to stress out about hitting these letters. Keep going deeper. Uh oh. Are we in a different room now? I don't understand this part. No! Damn it! I don't think you can die there. All the playthroughs I've seen, that exact thing happens. No matter how many you get, how many you miss, you just fall and then. Bloop. 
this on you. So, what this tells me is I have to get them to both stop scubaing at the same time. That's it. What Tricky. You get that? But I think I can do it. Say, stare them down. I love it. Just glad you're okay. <laughs> Don't do that again. Please. I've changed. Can you give me a heart attack? <gasps> heart attack! Oh! <laughs> but it wasn't him that had the heart attack. It was a lady. What do we got here? A rusty screw? For which to cut yourself on? Oh, it's a bullet. A very large bullet. Bullet holes. All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. I wanna correct you, but that wasn't a bullet hole. That was a bullet. But... I don't want to be pedantic. What was this? Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Hmm. I'd be more interested if it were death boats. Brad told me that sometimes they would take a bomber and turn it into a search and rescue plane. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Secret. Let's see what else we can find. <laughs> Let's see what else we can find. Nope. Don't do that line a second time. Take that cut. That was perfect. Mmm. Mmm. Definitely touch it. <laughs> no, maybe. Mmm. No, but yes. Let's do it. Ooh. 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 He's holding something. What did you expect? He was a dead guy and you spun him around. No. Wow. Oh. What the hell happened here? Trying to see what that was. A little look at things. They knew they were goners. What does that mean? It's a skull. It has no expression. Right. He's holding. No, something. don't. Don't do it again. I don't need to see it. Unless you can choke on a locket while underwater. I don't care about that thing. How do I get out? Please let me out. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Want to go first? That is a gnarly night. Wait, what happens? I feel like that's this is one of the ones where you have to do it. Julia, come. <laughs> what are you doing? Gosh! Look, I can open it with a mug. Oh, he just pulls it. He didn't even use a knife. What? There's no way he would be holding a gun with a swaying arm still. You think doing this for seven- Oh, Jesus. That actually scared me. You think doing this for seven years, your arm would fall off. Underwater. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. <laughs> Judging by the fact that they're in the pilot and co-pilot seats, I would say that these were the pilot and maybe even the co-pilot. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not a, an aircraft expert or anything. We gotta get out of here now! Mm. Ooh. Oh ho! Yes, yes, no! Come back! <laughs> shark? Now there's a shark? Now come at me, shark! It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. What was that line? <laughs> um. Hold on. Uh. Oh, okay. There we go. I, uh... What are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Stab! Just comes out I with a knife. I have nowhere. I to bring something up with you, but it's, it's not the best time. Mm. <clears throat> so just stare, make it more awkward, please. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Uh, G, no, just stare him down. Amuse? No. That implies happiness. Hey, seriously, <clears throat> what's going on? I didn't nothing. click anything. Yeah, but you're you're saying something. Just, I said to say nothing. You shouldn't have said anything. Come on. We've really got to get up top. Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, 
What? Oh no, okay, they come back. Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. No, we don't. Ooh. Whoa, that yeah. looks more fun than decompressing, don't you think? We, we have to I think we should not decompress and then immediately take a, a helicopter flight. That sounds great. My brother's sorry, up there. Sorry, my brother's up there. Go, go. Julia, go. No de decompressing. Don't decompress. Oh, let go. <laughs> Shake him off. No decompressing. No, no, go. I want to see what happens when you get the bands. I'm going. Fuck it, I'm going. Yeah, get out of here. I guess he's fine. Hey, what the hell is going on? Uh... Hey, JJ, don't worry about it. What? So is she gonna die from the bends now? Is that what it means? Oh, nothing. Money? Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. It was full of cash, as I always have my grill. Uh, why were you paying the ocean? So, why are you paying the ocean? A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Whatever. You're an asshole. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Lots of sharp so, edges, we lots of bullets, lots of sharks. Together. Great. What? Why? <laughs> the dive line, actually. The dive line? How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that shit is fucking perfect. <laughs> is that what happened? Like, the I was wondering why the plane was falling. The guy's boat hit it? Oh. What's he have to say to us? If he says we're doing well, I'm gonna flip. He laughing at me? You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. Ha! Depth, I get and it. And Julia. Nice one, of uh, Alex's life. Man, are you the man the love of her? Of Madame. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain. I'm making Chris, him arrogant, at least. Strong. Forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms. So Perhaps she has reason. rubber lips. Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. Yes! Yes! Okay. <laughs> I think in that scene he'll say like, uh... You're doing well, but I think that time he said you made some things they're gonna regret, which is great. I hope these decisions come back to bite me, because I haven't seen that much in the other playthroughs I've watched. Anyway, I'm gonna end the episode here. The next episode, we will continue trying to figure out what these pirates are about, and hopefully get one of them to kill us, or at least someone to drown or something. I don't know. We're in a whole episode without someone dying, so I'm sorry, I didn't quite do my part. I will see you guys in the next episode.